hobbles, there's many different uses and I think most, I, I think hobbles are a great tool. So if you're in the mountains, people who pack horses up in the mountains, hobbles is a must. It keeps your horses from wandering too far, from getting lost, and they can get around just fine out and grazing on those mountain meadows wearing a set of hobbles. Also, if a horse learns to stand well with hobbles on, then when you get if they get their foot caught in wire, it's not a big deal because they understand when their foot's caught to hold still. And then also, I think they're a very useful patience tool for those horses that paw all the time. It just helps them think about holding still. And so this colt right here, this is a three-year-old colt that I have him for training right now. He's a real nice-minded colt. You know, he's just a, a little impatient. And so there's two remedies for that that I like to use. There's hobbling. And then there's also long hours being tied up. That really does a lot for patience. And so we're gonna take him into the round pen here and go over how I do a first hobbling session. You wanna make sure that you're using a space where there's not things they can get hooked on, where they can get hurt. I like to use a smaller space like a round pen just so they can move around but they can't get away from you. And so, I have my hobbles here. I, I typically do it from this, from the left side. So I'll just rub them down, get it around that other side. This huge goal is just to keep things quiet. I'll pick up this foot, move them a little closer together. Just get it clipped up. Now, I, I just stand back out of the way. He's going to figure it out pretty quick here. So I'll let him take his first step and just... This is exactly what we want. We just want him to figure, figure out what it is that his legs are tied. And then once he figures it out in here, it won't be a problem when we tie it up, tie him up. If we just tied him up and put them on, then he could hang back and get his legs up through the panels or up over the halter shank, just fighting it. And we don't want that. And so that's why I always come into a nice enclosed or open, I guess, a nice open space where they can move around if they do fight it. But, He's handling it like a champ. He's almost handling this too good. And so I'm gonna bring a second horse in here just to show you another perspective, a more sensitive horse. And the fact that they fight hobbles the first time does not make them a bad horse. It just, every horse is different. So this is another mare I have in for training right now. She's a Arab mare. She's more of a hot blooded, a little bit busy, but She's still a really nice horse. I'm gonna show you what a more sensitive type horse will do when you put hobbles on for the first time. So same thing, just focus on really keeping it quiet. She's gonna to wanna to dance around a little. I'm just gonna rub these hobbles around, get her nice and comfortable with them. Try and hold her still. Ooh, man. Ooh. You can see that she definitely needs them. That pawing, that dancing, a lot of that will definitely be helped as we work on hobbling. So she's gonna move pretty quick here and I'm just gonna get out of the way. They're pretty loose. I'll tighten them up once she kind of quits moving. And I'll 
I'll just keep hold of this halter shank. So she's had them on for a few minutes and she's already starting to calm down. So I would feel comfortable tying her up pretty quick here with them. Just as long as she's not fighting and this will really help with this busyness. Well, I hope that helps you with your hobbling adventures with your horse and gives you, I guess, a reason where you might use it. It's just a regular colt thing to be busy. And so don't be worried if your horse is impatient. It just takes time and, and practice.